Okay, hi everybody and welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Um, so I will share my screen so we can have the agenda. And please go ahead and add things into there as we go along. Okay, so first item is uh, Zoom accounts. And uh, yeah, I think this is the request to um, just have a separate Zoom account because we've got lots of meetings happening with CDF now and Jenkins. Um, so I can follow up on that one. Let me give myself the action item. Uh, oh, I noticed Jackie on the line. Jackie, anything you can add here? Yeah, we... Um so for Zoom accounts, I'm not sure. I'm sure, I don't think that'll be an issue, um, but I am, we are looking into something like an online platform for us to host uh, online events. Um, so I think the Linux Foundation, it was kind of, I was kind of surprised because they're just canceling events outright and they're not really uh, pushing for a virtual solution. Um, where only like CDF is the one that's been like, yeah, we need to do this online. Um, so we're not seeing a lot of support from them right now. Um, that might change, um, but it's Dan right now that is taking the lead on on finding that. So I'm, I'll also let him know that we want to extend um, that to the meetups because uh, I think that's probably, we're going to see a trend there. Okay, great. I'll take the action to follow up with Dan and see where things stand with uh, all these. Okay, so then moving on to scale and Mark, do you want to go ahead and share some highlights? Yeah, so we had a Jenkins pipeline workshop on over 90 attendees. We had allocated 100 virtual machines for them and they seemed to be really pleased. Uh, after the pipeline workshops, we also did two days of running booths, uh, Alyssa Tong and me uh, and I. And uh, with that, felt like we got good contacts. I reached out and talked with, for instance, Deb Goodkind of the FreeBSD Foundation uh, and several others from various operating system platforms that happened to be there as well. So good conversations, um, very effective. I don't know if scale is an, a permanent thing for us, felt like it went well enough. It was, attendance was certainly affected by coronavirus. It was, there were fewer people there than there were two years ago. And Alyssa said fewer than she had seen last year. That's it for me. Okay. And yeah, I believe Alyssa had shared, uh, Jackie, for your information. Um, I think we got a number of leads there and she's gonna um, share those with uh, CDF so we can add those to uh, to uh, to our set of leads, so I'll I'll have Alyssa follow up with you. Okay, great. Okay, thanks for that, Mark. And uh, Jenkins area meetup. Oh, like, do you want it? Yeah. So just a quick update there. Um, I thanks a lot to Jacqueline and CDF. I got permissions uh, for all uh, active European meetups. I started working with local organizers to get them restored because yeah, the most of the restored meetups initially didn't have uh, formal organizers with permissions. So basically nobody was able to create meetups. Uh, one of, of the items that yeah, all meetups also uh, go virtual in my current understanding. So there is nobody planning meetup and across Switzerland, uh, almost everything has been canceled. It's not a case for Russia at the moment, but it may change overnight. Uh, but it's still my understanding that uh, we will be pushing for online meetups. So we will be like uh, using existing Jenkins online meetup for that. So I hope that we will be able uh, to organize uh, several extra meetups uh, in the next months uh, with help of local jam organizers. And a topic related to that uh, is a uh, grace period because uh, we agreed that we would be given a two-month uh, period for jam organizers to schedule new meetups um, after being recovered. But yeah, taking all the current situation, I uh, assume that uh, meetups are not going to happen. 
So yeah. I asked uh, Jack, you know, whether we could have, um, uh, where that we could extend the grace period somehow. Um, yeah, there is ongoing discussion about that. Yeah, no, I mean, it totally makes sense. Um, totally out of our control that coronavirus is causing havoc around the world. So yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. No, no discussion there. Yeah, and uh, thanks a lot uh, for your flexibility. We will do our best to uh, get the content online. Great, thanks for that, Oleg. Actually, side note, uh, Mark, was there an online meetup uh, just yesterday? How did that go? Oh, yes, yes, there was. It was a developer meetup. So Jeff Thompson presented a uh, about an hour's worth of material on how to use find sec bugs to assist Jenkins core developers and Jenkins plugin developers with another static analysis tool. And it's intentionally, it's specifically focused on trying to find security issues uh, in web applications, actually. So it's a pretty reasonable fit for, for Jenkins. Was it well attended? No, no, it was a small attendance, but developer meetups are pretty commonly small attendance, right? This is a, this is a well-known topic, static analysis. It, we kept it, we've kept the recording and we'll use it for archive purposes to show other people and to teach. Okay, thanks for the update. Okay, uh, next item I have here is Public Jenkins Roadmap. Oleg, yeah. you? Yeah, just uh, to increase visibility of this topic. Mm -hmm. So, um, last month we had a contributor summit um, in Brussels, um, and uh, one of the topics today was having a public community driven roadmap. So that uh, any Jenkins user, uh, including uh, corporate ones, would be able to see whether the pro where the project is going, what are the key priorities for the project, uh, and the way we facilitate contributions as a, an organization. Uh, so I started this discussion in the developer mailing list, and in the next weeks I will be reaching out to all uh, six uh, sub projects and teams, you know, to get their suggestions about roadmap items. And meanwhile, I would appreciate the reviews because yeah, it will go through Jenkins enhancement proposal process. Um, and I started just from uh, posting the Google Doc for initial feedback, but I hope that to go through the formal process next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no, we could to, I guess, before coronavirus, we could have easily kind of mapped out our events um, but mm -hmm. now we might need to just think a bit harder about other kinds of um, advocacy and outreach and um, how mm -hmm. we see that playing out. Yeah, uh, in the draft I used uh, common events like Google Summer of Code, which is happening That's now. True. Also October 1st, uh, which we definitely plan to attend. Mm -hmm. yeah, Google Season of Dogs, uh, yeah, which uh, brings up a uh, problem of uh, events which fall into multiple categories, which we need to figure out. Um, and if somebody sees any other events or other advocacy or Twitch initiatives we would like to drive, then we could uh, also put them on the roadmap. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions or comments on that? Mm -hmm. My question would be to Jacqueline about uh, whether there are any plans uh, to do roadmaps on a high level, uh, maybe as a part of uh, CDF uh, system layout or maybe as a, as a part of Linux Foundation. So are there any practices uh, on the foundation level there? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Practices yeah. around what? Yeah. Yeah, so does uh, continuous the derivative foundation uh, consider aggregating the roadmaps uh, across the projects uh, or doing such uh, generic things so that, uh, so that we can uh, take it into account in our planning? So you're asking if we're going to create a roadmap, um, like a, a cross project roadmap so that we're capturing all of the events throughout the year? Is that what you're asking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. So yeah. are there any. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, you know what, that's a really good idea. We haven't done that yet, um, but mm -hmm. that is something that I do, I, I, I do need to get in touch with all of the maintainers 
and maybe we we come together to put a process in place for this um because we are all a little bit still working uh in silos we haven't come together to, to do it on behalf of this the foundation mm -hmm. thank you and a general sort of roadmap some things just to be aware of uh, some of the SIGs are driving towards having their own roadmaps so i'm not sure how whether they have any impact on what we're doing but uh, i'm actually going to drive a, an initiative with the interoperability sig to sort of map out the direction there uh, the separate roadmap uh, items in the mlop sig um, but yeah, they're all very early days and as i say just uh, we can see if there's any tie-in that we can can sort of cross-reference from the Jenkins yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. good. Um, I wanted to bring up the swag thing we had covered from a few meetings ago. And Jacqueline, do we had any follow-up on? We had some swag requests to get some voucher codes. Yeah, so um, I do have an update from that. I just need to get the codes from um, Amanda from Pinnacle. Uh, she said that we can give them in quant, like in quantity, but she can create codes for the product. So if he, here's a code for like a pair of socks, or here's a code for um, like the T-shirt or whatever. Uh, I haven't gone to production with the T-shirts yet mm -hmm. um, because it's actually I got a quote of $68,000, so I have to <laughs> cut that down, or we need to just switch vendors because Pinnacle is really expensive. Um, so yeah, I haven't produced any of the t-shirts or the hoodies uh, yet, um, but yeah, I've, I've asked them to create codes for all of everything that's online and i've asked her to give me 10 of each of those so i'm just waiting for her to to email that back to me i'm sorry about the delay okay no problem yeah we if we can get started with those and and see how that works and just keep kind of improving that, that will yeah be i'm trying to figure out how do we do it as lean as possible because um yeah that really exceeds our our, our budget our swag budget so Mark and Oleg, um, when Jackie does have codes, um, how do we want to approach it? Like, should we have some process or some people who are managing the allocation and, and who should that be? Yeah, so we have some initiatives where it's quite straightforward. For example, uh, Google Summer of Code, uh, JSOC team manages the budget and we have some money reserved uh, for this uh, year. Uh, to use them for Schwag. Uh, same for Hacktoberfest. We have love from the previous year to send Schwag to uh, the most active contributors. And I didn't forget about that. Uh, so we can use uh, this budget. And for the rest, we don't have an established process. Uh, but I believe that uh, we could do something because we still uh, have uh, official uh, security bounty, uh, bug bounty for reports. So we could uh, use uh, codes there. So, yep. If uh, we have an opportunity, we can definitely uh, try it out quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, any other topics, items? Let's see what else we had in the past. So we've had an update on CDF in GSOC, which is good. It's uh, from uh, previous two week. I can briefly summarize what we achieved over the past two weeks, but yeah, if anyone is interested. Yeah, maybe if we just put a link in the notes and so folks can find it. Okay. And the only other thing I see was case studies and Alyssa's not here, so I suggest we leave that for t this week. Oh, and well, so on the case studies topic, we were mm -hmm. actively recruiting at uh, scale, trying to identify specific people and talking the story to them. Look, we'd like to contact you. So she collected a number of email addresses uh, and interesting spaces, interesting people we discussed with. Great. 
Great. No, it's good, good to take advantage of that event in multiple ways. Okay, and that's everything. Oh, I was also going to add, uh, we did manage to get a CDF one year, CDF turns one. Uh, today's the anniversary of the launch. So there's a blog post on there. Um, so if you want to do any kind of cross promotion on Jenkins, um, just be aware that that exists. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Oh, actually, one other topic. Um, I was wondering if we could, Jackie, I know you've been kind of looking for content. And I was wondering if we could take a few minutes, maybe to think of some recent Jenkins IO blog posts, which would be worth uh, reposting on CDF. I noticed uh, Spinnaker have been doing quite a few. Yeah, so um, I, let me just pull up my form because I actually uh, yeah, have some. This is what I ended up pulling from. Uh, from the Jenkins. So um, where is the Jenkins one? Yeah, Jenkins is coming up. We've got them. So the one I um, asked Jess asked Jesse to repost was the Atlassian new Bitbucket server integration for Jenkins. And that is scheduled to get posted on well, it was supposed to get po posted today, but he's probably running late. Yeah, I think uh, the CDF post may have bumped that one. Um, and then the next one was also the Google Summer of Code 2019 report. That one was supposed to go out actually today, and then the Atlassian one was supposed to go out yesterday. And then also, let's see, the WebSocket. Um, that should have that was scheduled to be Friday, but I think everything's been delayed. So okay. and then the next one was validating um, the one by Mr. New Slandon News Noons. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got the, I got one, two, three. I've got three Jenkins X um, blogs that I also pulled from the IO page. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, no, I think we can, this, this will be good to go. And if there are any other posts or Lego mark you think are worth um, kind of highlighting, uh, you should let Jackie know. Yeah, so just, uh, yeah, please let me know. Um, or also, I don't know if you guys have used the blog form, but I asked Jesse to monitor the pages. Um, so he's supposed to be doing that when, whenever new blogs come up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, please let us know. Yeah, I have a few blog posts in my queue. Okay. I also uh, think, yeah, I guess uh, CDF is planning to post something about uh, JSOC next week, uh, just for promotion. Uh, at least it could be doable to write something quick and uh, yeah, we, we are going to publish Jenkins blog post the next week as well so we can cross reference. Is that a JSOC one, Oleg? Yeah, JSOC one. Okay. And yeah, I have uh, several other blog posts in my queue, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure whether, when I will get to them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just let us know. Um, and I think I, I just saw that there's two new ones, the pipeline authoring and the uh, fine sec bugs for developers. So I'll also um, create a ticket and add those to the queue. Nice. Yeah, pipeline authoring should be a good one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so now it's good if you're monitoring those and picking out ones and if there's anything particularly special, we will also highlight, but it sounds like you'll see them anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to look at the blogs on a weekly basis. Um, I just been delayed on the in the past two weeks and I missed those two. But I'll, I'll file a ticket with Jesse. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen, there's also a Jenkins X one on Jenkins X and Tecton. Uh, so I think that that's a pretty big announcement and also oh, okay. across two different projects. So I, I think that just went out 
it's the day of today on the Jenkins X blog. Uh, let me look. Oh. Okay. I'll file a ticket for that as well. Perfect. Cool. Right. Yeah. I think that is everything. So, uh, yeah, let's leave it there. And next meeting will be in a couple of weeks. Yep. And I think, will we still have the time difference between Europe and will Europe have changed clocks by then? If I recall correctly, no. It should no, be okay. the very last uh, weekend of March. Okay. Oh, and then just one bit of logistics. I think I will add folks here directly to the Jenkins calendar invite rather than having, I think I've got two meetings for this time. So Oleg made that suggestion. So that's a good one. Uh, and I will do that. So at least we all see it in our calendar, even if it's yeah not at a time folks fully yeah. expect. Yeah, we started doing a bit further seek meetings. Uh, so we just invite uh, usual suspects directly in the calendar. Nice. And it doesn't hurt. Okay. Okay. That's it then. Thanks, everybody. And I will stop sharing. Bye.